They came before the ice melted, before cities, before history, a people lost to time until now. Deep beneath the permafrost of an Alaskan cave, scientists uncovered something that was never meant to be found, a fragment of forbidden ancient DNA. It didn't match any known Native American lineage, not Asian, not Siberian, something older, stranger, out of place. For decades, textbooks taught that the first Americans crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Siberia some 13,000 years ago. But this single strand of degraded genetic code, extracted from a child's tooth buried in eternal frost, shattered that theory in seconds. What this DNA revealed shook the foundations of archaeology, anthropology, and everything we thought we knew about human migration, hidden for over 20,000 years. Was this the trace of a lost civilization erased from history? Or was it evidence of a human presence in the Americas long before the Ice Age ended? If so, who were they? And why did they vanish so completely? What forbidden truth does this ancient DNA truly reveal about the first settlers of America? For over a century, the prevailing theory stood firm. Humans first entered the Americas around 13,000 years ago, following herds of game across the Bering Land Bridge that once connected Siberia to Alaska during the last Ice Age. This idea, known as the Clovis First Model, was backed by countless archaeological digs, ancient spearheads, and migration patterns that seemed to align with DNA from East Asia. In 2021, in a remote frozen cave known as the Upward Sun River site in Alaska, researchers made a chilling discovery. The DNA of two infants, preserved in ice for over 11,500 years. But it wasn't just their age that stunned scientists, it was their ancestry. The genetic code did not match what was expected of early Siberian migrants. Instead, it pointed to a completely unknown lineage, one that had split from all other human groups more than 20,000 years ago. A ghost population, unseen, unaccounted for, and somehow already in America. This revelation posed a terrifying question. Had humans arrived in the Americas thousands of years earlier than we thought and vanished without a trace? It began with a tooth, small, worn, and buried deep in the frozen soil of Alaska's Tanana River Valley. Archaeologists were excavating a site they believed held remnants of a prehistoric hunting camp. But what they found was far more intimate. The cremated remains of two infants, carefully buried side by side. Among the ashes, a tiny molar, undamaged, preserved by ice for over 11 millennia. The site, named Upward Sun River, seemed ordinary at first. Yet as the scientists examined the burial ritual, something felt off. The tools, the layout, the careful positioning, it didn't match the known patterns of ancient Siberian nomads. The tooth was sent to a state-of-the-art genetics lab. Expectations were modest, maybe confirmation of Beringian ancestry or hints of ancient Siberian roots. But the DNA extraction revealed something entirely unexpected. The infants belonged to a previously unknown branch of humanity, dubbed the Ancient Beringians, a group that had split from the ancestors of Native Americans over 20,000 years ago. This group wasn't supposed to exist. Not in Alaska. Not at that time. The implications were explosive. Who were the ancient Beringians, and how did they get there so early? More importantly, where did they go? The discovery ignited a scientific firestorm. Geneticists, archaeologists, and anthropologists from across the globe converged on the data. The DNA was ancient, fragile, fragmented, and buried under tens of thousands of years of degradation. Extracting it was a race against time. Using next-generation sequencing, researchers began to reconstruct the genome, base pair by base pair. 
pulling secrets from molecules frozen since the Ice Age. But the deeper they looked, the stranger it became. The ancient Beringians weren't just an isolated tribe. They were a foundational population, a lost branch of humanity that predated known Native American lineages. This raised impossible questions. If they were already in Alaska more than 20,000 years ago, then the migration across Beringia must have started long before the Clovis culture ever emerged. And yet, there were no other archaeological traces of this people. No settlements, no tools, no descendants. It was as if they had appeared, lived, and vanished, leaving only DNA behind. Researchers scoured the ice, re-examined old sites with new technology, and even searched deep underwater along the ancient Bering Land Bridge now submerged beneath the Bering Sea. The pressure mounted. Critics demanded more evidence. Traditional scholars resisted rewriting the timeline. But then, a second genetic anomaly was uncovered, thousands of miles away. Could this be the missing link? Thousands of miles from Alaska, in the arid highlands of Brazil, another genetic shockwave emerged. At the site of La Paz do Santo, ancient human remains dating back over 10,000 years were unearthed. When their DNA was analyzed, researchers expected clear links to known Native American populations. Instead, what they found defied logic. A small but distinct genetic signal linked to Australasia, regions like Papua New Guinea and the Andaman Islands. This meant that some of the earliest inhabitants of South America shared ancestry with people from the other side of the Pacific Ocean. The scientific community was stunned. How could a population related to Australasians have reached South America, bypassing the entire North American continent? Or had they somehow coexisted with ancient Beringians along the way? Further analysis revealed traces of this ghost population known as Population Y, scattered in the genomes of several isolated indigenous groups across the Amazon. Though faint, the signature was real and ancient. Then came the bombshell, comparing genomes from the Alaskan infants, South American remains, and modern indigenous groups revealed a common ancestor, a people that lived before the Beringian split, long before Clovis, their DNA was like a footprint in wet concrete, rare but permanent, a smoking gun hidden in human cells. This was no longer just a theory. The Americas were peopled far earlier and by far more diverse groups than anyone had dared to believe. Picture this. Over 20,000 years ago, as glaciers choked the northern hemisphere and sea levels plunged, a vast land corridor connected Asia to North America. Beringia. But it wasn't a frozen wasteland. It was a green, fertile expanse teeming with game, rivers, and shelter. Into this forgotten world stepped a small group of humans driven by survival, curiosity, or something older. Instinct. They came not from a single source, but from multiple migratory waves, some possibly originating from deep within Southeast Asia others from Siberia. Some carried the now extinct genes of the ancient Beringians. Others bore traces of Australasian ancestry, suggesting coastal or island-hopping routes long before such paths were thought possible. They didn't walk into an empty continent. They carved out a life in a brutal, uncharted wilderness, tracking mammoths, building shelters from bone and hide crafting tools unlike any the world had seen. Some may have followed the coast, arriving in South America long before the ice retreated from the north. Others stayed behind, swallowed by the advancing glaciers, their camps buried under time and silence. Generations rose and fell, leaving behind only ashes, bone, and DNA fragments frozen in place. What we now realize is chilling. The Americas were not settled once, but many times, by people as genetically diverse as they were mysterious. And yet, 
Most of their stories vanished with the melting ice. What force erased them? Climate? Conflict? Or something we have yet to uncover? The DNA doesn't lie. It whispers truths buried for millennia, of migrations no textbook predicted, of peoples who lived, loved, and vanished before history began. The ancient Beringians, the ghost lineage of Population Y, and the unexpected genetic echoes found across two continents. They all point to a single haunting conclusion. The Americas were a cradle of forgotten civilizations far older and more complex than we've ever imagined. The evidence is still scattered, hiding in caves, buried beneath oceans, and encoded in the blood of remote tribes. But each new discovery brings us closer to rewriting the story of human origin in this hemisphere. What else lies frozen beneath the tundra? What ancient voices still linger in our genes, waiting to be heard? The first settlers of America may never speak to us with words, but through their DNA, they are screaming to be remembered. If this mystery fascinated you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We're just scratching the surface. The past is deeper darker, and far more surprising than you think. And somewhere out there, another piece of the puzzle waits to be unearthed.